Hello everyone, I'm Ike the 4 from Psychic Gamers, and yes, it's been a long old while since the last Gold Gun Get episode, but I'm finally back, and today I'm doing the Ballistic Knife. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with this series, basically what I do is I play Black Ops 2 until I own a certain weapon's gold camouflage, and then I make a Gold Gun Get video, where I talk about my experiences with the weapon, how easy I found it to get gold, and just give out some simple tips that will hopefully help you guys on your way to getting gold yourself. As you can see, today I'm doing the Ballistic Knife, returning from Black Ops 1, this special weapon is a hybrid between a projectile and a melee weapon. It allows you to knife much faster than a regular melee, and gives you extended lunge range as well. On top of that, it allows you to fire out a blade, which, when it hits the enemy, will kill in one. The blade is a projectile, so you do need to take into account distance, and of course the drop of the blade, which can make hitting people at long distances a bit tricky. For that reason, I very rarely use the Ballistic Knife's fire functionality, and I just use it to melee people, so it's only fair that I do a quick comparison between the Ballistic and the Combat Knife. I've already done a Gold Gun episode on the Combat Knife, so if you're looking for more melee related tips, that might be worth a look. In comparison, the melee range, from what I've seen, is pretty much identical to the Combat Knife, however the Ballistic Knife doesn't have the added bonus of being able to run faster. The Ballistic Knife also seems to melee slightly slower, what really makes the difference to me, however, as a player using the tactical layout, is the fact that you do actually have to press the knife button in order to melee. While using the ballistic knife, being able to press R1 was absolutely amazing, as it allowed me to still have full control of the right stick while trying to melee. For those still using the default layout, then that shouldn't be an issue. The first step on your journey to getting the ballistic knife gold is earning 300 kills with it. At this point, it doesn't matter whether you get the kills with stabs, or with fired blades. One way to do this is to head into sticks and stones, which should give you more of a level playing field with other people using the ballistic knife as well. This does help in several ways, there's a radar that's constantly sweeping so you know where people are to find them, it's free for all so you're not going to be running back and forwards between spawns as they switch, and there's no score streaks getting in your way. If you're doing the crossbow at the same time, check out the gold gun get for the crossbow if you haven't already then yeah, I really would recommend sticks and stones and you can use them in combination and they should rack up kills pretty quickly. Remember to unlock the ballistic knife before heading into sticks and stones because the kills won't contribute towards the challenges if the weapon isn't unlocked. The alternative is of course to head into some regular game modes. In these modes it's probably going to take a little bit more thinking and tactical play to get right. Mode wise I'd recommend either ground war, 9 versus 9 battles means there's simply more people to kill or you could try my personal favourite, head into demolition, tack up somewhere, and basically spawn trap the enemy. Because of the way demolition works, the spawns are pretty much never going to switch unless some idiot on your team pushes right up into the enemy spawn, and then it might turn. But normally, the enemy always stays on one side and your team on the other. This is helpful with the melee weapons in particular because you're not going to have to run as far in order to get to the enemies and try and kill them. The smaller maps, especially hijacked, work perfectly for this kind of tactic and you're going to be racking up kills very quickly doing it. In your class setup, I'd recommend running only the ballistic knife and then stocking up on perks. Lightweight and extreme conditioning are pretty much a must for a melee class. Scavenger is very helpful for getting extra blades. Pretty much every kill you get, you're going to get a scavenger bag because you're right there next to them to pick it up. And then it's pretty much up to you depending on how you play or what things you find yourself running into. Flak jacket could be pretty useful, especially if you're playing hectic objective modes where people are going to be spamming explosives. Engineer, you're going to be running around a lot with the ballistic knife and the last thing you want to do is run into someone's equipment. And fast hands can be a pretty good investment as well, especially if you're making use of tactical grenades. Honestly, the 300 kills isn't a massive issue. It's not like the regular weapons where you have to aim for headshots, you've just got to get a kill. And with the ballistic knife in every case, as long as you hit, it's going to kill. No need to worry about hit markers or anything stupid like that. Just get your shots and melees on target and you're going to be able to get a kill. Just a little pro tip, keep a very close eye on your ammo count. If you've only got one blade left and you think you're going to have to use your knife in close combat, don't fire. For some reason, Call of Duty treats us like we're 5 years old and don't understand how to switch weapons when we run out of ammo and it does it automatically for you, which can put you in a very sticky situation if you run out of ballistic knife blades and you're frantically trying to switch over weapons. In a situation like this, fast hands can help a lot, but it's up to you whether you want to run that or not. 300 kills may take a little bit of time, but with every kill you get, you are learning how to use the ballistic knife a little bit better. As the saying goes, practice makes perfect. 
and your experience with the ballistic knife over these 300 kills is going to help a lot when it gets to the extra challenges. So now we've earned 300 kills with the ballistic knife and earned the Cryptek Typhon camo, then the rest of the challenges unlock. Now to be honest, these challenges shouldn't cause you a massive problem. As with pretty much every weapon, the Skulls camo which requires bloodthirsties is probably the trickiest, but it is very doable if you get to grips with how best to use the ballistic knife, taking flanking routes, and of course not running directly into the enemy. Let's start at the top though. In order to unlock the carbon fibre camo you're going to have to earn 5 revenge medals with the ballistic knife. This is going to come very easily in pretty much any game mode but especially if you're playing sticks and stones or if you're using a tactical insertion in demolition you're bound to run into the person that killed you. That really shouldn't be a problem. Cherry blossom camo requires you to get 25 melee kills with a ballistic knife. Again this is very very easy and this is what we've been doing for pretty much all of the 300 kills that we've just got so again shouldn't be an issue. For the Art of War camo you're going to need to get 25 kills with retrieved ballistic knife blades. Now this is a bit of a weird one and it involves firing the blades and getting kills with them but they need to be picked up off the ground. It sounds a bit more confusing than it really is. All you need to do is whenever you spawn just fire off all of your rounds into the ground and then when you're ballistic knife is empty go and pick them all back up again and then you've got a load of blades that you can use and they will count towards the retrieved blade stat. 25 kills like this will net you the art of war. Personally I found this a little bit more tricky because I'm not a massive fan of firing the blades but if you play just like you were trying to knife people and when you get within range press R1 and fire instead of knifing then you should be able to do it fairly easily. And finally in order to get the skulls camo you need to get two bloodthirsty medals. Now luckily it is only two this time, for the combat knife you needed to get five bloodthirsties with it and I know a lot of people were having difficulty getting bloodthirsties with the knife. Now obviously this is going to require a little bit of luck to be on your side but there are some ways that you can make it slightly easier for yourself. Work out flanking routes around the map, don't run straight into the enemy because you're rarely going to win in a head to head battle with somebody with a gun. Even if it looks like you're lunging towards them on your screen, most of the time you're probably already dead. It's just the way Black Ops 2 likes to work. So getting around behind people is really the best way to do it. You need to be speedy, so lightweight and extreme conditioning are definitely recommended perks. Make good use of tacticals to stun them or distract them. I very rarely see people running dual band, so smoke grenades could help you out quite a lot. Planting shock charges and waiting at appropriate distance for people to walk up and get stunned by them or equipping fast hands and using flashbangs and stun grenades are also easy ways to get knife kills. This is particularly good because the enemy can't turn while they're stunned and you're going to be able to run around the side or behind them and they won't be able to do much about it. Just take your time, it can be very frustrating but you will get there in the end. You've done 300 plus kills with a ballistic knife now so you should be pretty proficient with it. And the final camo I haven't talked about yet is the Ronin camo. Now usually this is one of the very tricky camos for weapons but in this case it's pretty easy. You need to get one double kill with the knife. That's right, only one. Obviously this does come down to a little bit of luck. You'll need to find two people that don't notice you and are pretty close together. You should be able to do it with quick succession stabs or maybe a stab and then a ballistic knife blade. Remembering the time period during which two kills count as a double kill is a lot larger than in previous Call of Duty titles. This one shouldn't pose too much of a problem and when you've unlocked all of these camos you're going to have your ballistic knife in gold. So that's the end of this video, I hope you've enjoyed it, maybe these tips will help you out towards your gold ballistic knife. Next time I am going to be doing the assault shield, oh boy it's going to be fun getting clips for that one. If you enjoyed this video please leave a rating, comment any of your opinions, questions and if you do have any tips that you've picked up yourself while using a ballistic knife and you want to impart your knowledge onto other viewers make sure to leave them in the comment section below and if you want to keep up to date with my content and you haven't already make sure you hit subscribe. I shall see you next time.